We have three levels of government in this country, federal, state and local. And you're going to find idiocy at every level. But right now, it's local government that's taking the prize for the biggest idiots of all. And part of the reason, it seems to me, is that many councillors seem just too bored with doing all that stuff that we just asked them to do. You know, collect the garbage, keep the neighbourhood tidy, fix the parts. Instead, too many want to play exciting new political games. Global warming, identity politics. Three mad examples from just the past week. First, an Adelaide Council, Mitchum, voted to downgrade its popular Christmas carols event. I'm sure people loved it, and sure it was part of the area's tradition, but it cost too much. And, you see, it wasn't inclusive. Apparently, people who aren't Christian, which I guess includes me, would feel insulted by seeing Australians singing carols. Here's one of the councillors. People of Muslim faith and Sikh faith and the multitude of other faiths we have in our community may not feel included. You know, I've actually never met a Muslim or a Sikh who says, uh, I don't want the Christmas, uh, don't, don't show me people singing, I'm insulted by it. I mean, seriously? That's usually an excuse that activists of the left give, anti-Christians, using the immigrants or people of different faiths as an excuse. And really, you know, if you truly are someone of different faith, maybe you've immigrated here and you do hate Christian celebrations, and please don't come to a country where more than half the people still are Christian. Anyway, Mitcham Council is now in fast retreat after a public uproar. Council has really lost the plot. Political correctness, they want to destroy culture. Now, second example, and again involving identity politics, Wollongong's council has got all excited by the new rainbow-coloured pedestrian crossing that the Sydney Council has painted and has voted to have the very same thing in Wollongong to honour gays, lesbians, transsexuals and the intersex, etc. In fact, Wollongong's gone one better on Sydney. It also wants crossings for refugees and Aborigines. As Councillor Vicky King explained, all this is in the name of inclusivity. And she said, I think it's great to put in some facilities that support a group, but I think you can't be exclusive when you do that. So I moved that amendment, which was voted unanimously, I moved that amendment to include all communities, everything, religion, community, it doesn't matter. But actually, that's not quite true, is it, Councillor King? Because if you want to include all communities in a level crossing, say, you don't need to single out any particular one group for that crossing. One crossing will do fine for us all. One crossing fits all. No, 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 this is not about including all communities at all, because I have to ask, will there, will there actually be street crossings now in Wollongong that honour... Whites? People of British heritage? How about a crossing for men? Or for Christians? Oh, I doubt that last one. Because, you know, I read that Lord Mayor Gordon Bradbury at this vote of the council actually quoted the Bible and asked the community to forgive Christian churchgoers who'd caused grief and sadness in the debate on gay rights. Bad Christians. No crossing for you. This is also crazy. I mean, take Sydney Council again. This is a council so crazed by the global warming religion that it declared a climate emergency. One, I mean, I'd challenge you to see a climate emergency out there. And that's the problem. You see, this council was asked by some women who exercise at the Prince Alfred Park in Surrey Hills to put in more lighting around there, particularly around equipment that's in a dark spot of the park at dawn when... Some of them come there, a spot that's away from the path. They want to feel safe. But no, says the council. It said additional lighting in the park would add to the city's carbon footprint. I mean, you've got to ask yourself... For this. Are they really putting a totally useless gesture for global warming's sake above the safety of local women? 
And let me tell you how useless a gesture that is for the Sydney Council to say no to a few more light bulbs, you know? No to these light bulbs in Sydney. You put them, these light bulbs, against China. Did you know that China, the world's biggest emitter of global warming gases, has just admitted that it increased its own global warming gases by 53% in just 10 years? That amounts to 12 times Australia's entire emissions. That's extra, just from China, in just 10 years. For their Sydney Council begrudging a few light bulbs. Now, you may think, I'm being unfair. Surely our councils can't be that stupid. And I say to you, yes, they can. Some can be that stupid. Or else, maybe they just think you are. Because let me show you a video from Melbourne's very woke Bayside Council, which is now trying to make its ratepayers recycle their food scraps by putting them in a separate bag. Now, this council seems to think its locals are complete morons. And such morons, they need a video lecture even on how to open a bag. Watch and weep. The introduction of food waste recycling, we're providing compostable bags. Here's how to open your bags. Rip it off the roll, fold out the sides, take the top of the bag between your thumb and finger and rub together. Now you're ready to use the bag to line your caddy. And you're ready to go to recycle your food waste. If I hadn't seen that video, I would never have known how to take a plastic bag off a roll and stick it in a bin. Never. Never. Modern Australia for you. I really do think we're losing our minds. Where else our leaders are?